name is Sharice. Today's video is an intro video to a new project that just came about um, from another YouTuber. Her name is Sophie Alexandra, and I'll go ahead and I'll link her down below. But she created this project called Project Level Up. And so basically, it's just another way to use your palettes more, to get more use out of them. The reason why I really like this pa uh, project, I'm currently working on Pan That Palette Hit Pan. And so with that, you know, I am using palettes, I'm using several of them, but I'm not focusing or using every single shade. It's just pretty much whatever I feel like using at that time, but I'll, my goal is to hit pan in every palette. The reason why I liked her project that she came up with, it's like a level up type of a project where you have to use every shade of the palette that you pick. So I really like that idea of it. So with her project, and I like I said, I'll link her down below, her intro, so if you want to go over and check out all the rules, but they are pretty simple. It is a year-long project, and so you basically randomly pick a palette, and from that palette you have two goals to complete before you can level up to the next level. And so the first uh, goal is that you have to use every shade in the palette, and you have to hit pan in one of those shades. So once you meet those two goals, you get to level up to level two. You'll take that palette out, you randomly pick a new palette to bring in, and then out of that palette, you gotta use every shade twice, and you have to hit pan in two of the shades of that palette for you to level up to level three. And then so in that one, you'll go ahead and take out that palette, randomly pick a third, another palette, um, and then hit pan three times and use every shade three times. And you do this up until level five, I believe, is where she's stopping. I think she said five. You can, at that time, keep going to the next level, or like she's doing, which I will be doing alongside of her, after I complete the goal in level five, which is to use the palette five times in every shade and hit pan in five shades, then I'll go ahead and reset the project and go back to level one. And I guess you just keep doing that as many times as you can, I guess, throughout the year. So I really did like this idea. It's a way, again, to make sure or ensure that you're using every shade in your palette, as well as hitting pan. So I really do like that. In her project, or the way she's doing it, I think that she's giving herself like five times throughout the year, where if she does randomly pick a palette that either just doesn't go with the season or she just doesn't like the color story or something like that, that she, she has the option not to use that palette and then pick something else. For me, I'm going to honestly just whatever I pick is what I'm going to go with, with the exception of the palettes that I'm using in my Pan That Palette. I just, I'm already using them, so if I pick that particular one, then I'll put it back and I'll pick something else. So thank you, Sophie, for creating this project. Like I said, I'm really excited about it. I'm really trying to, again, like there's so many projects out there and I wish I could really join them all, but I love my eye palettes. It's what I have a lot of and it's something I enjoy using the most. So I tend to probably will go towards projects that are more like eye palette related. So long story short with the whole wheel randomizer thing, I went ahead and I entered all of my palettes on my phone. And this was actually like a couple of days ago. And I had them all on my phone and everything. And then I wanted to also do a second one with all of my single shadows. And I thought that I saved my eye palettes under a bookmark or whatever to start the new one for the eyeshadow uh, uh, singles. And I guess I did something wrong because what happened was the eyeshadow singles replaced the wheel that I had with my eye palettes. And I'm sure I did do something wrong because I'm not just phone savvy, tech savvy at all. Um, so what I did instead of trying it again and then losing the information for my single shadows because I got really annoyed that I obviously spent a lot of time entering them in, I just hand wrote them on pieces of paper. So here is a bag of all my eye palettes, a little piece of paper, and we're just gonna grab from here. So let's see what we got. All right, so this is the Lorac Mega Pro 2. Hopefully you can see that. Can you guys see that? Hopefully you can. Um, 
So yeah, so let me go get that and I'll be right back. All right, so here is the Lorac Mega Pro 2. I am laughing though that I did pick this one out because in my Pan That palette, the Lorac Pro was a new one that I just brought into that project. But that's all right. Um, I, again, you only have to use this one time for each shade, and then I just have to hit pan in one of these shades. And Lorac Shadows, like I mentioned in my Pin Up palette, was that, you know, these are more, they're more shallow than other palettes, so they don't have as much, the pan size is not as big as other um, palettes, as well as their formula is softer. So it shouldn't be, I'm hoping it shouldn't be really a big deal to hit pan something, but as you can see, this is pretty much a brand new palette. I used maybe a couple of shades, like you can see that one, and I think I used that one. But on the whole, this is pretty much an untouched palette. So, yeah, so I'm excited. <laughs> this is a lot of shadows. But I guess I'm excited to have this on one use instead of five uses and have to hit pan five times on five shades. So I'm, I'm lucky that I picked this on the first one. But that is it. Um, if you guys are joining in, please let me know. I would love to follow you along. Again, thank you, Sophie, for creating this project. I'm really excited to jump in and start this with you ladies. And that's it. I'll probably do, um, I would say an update maybe at the end of March, beginning of April, or I guess, I don't know, maybe, I don't know how everyone's actually doing their, their updates. I don't know if it's every month or if it's just when you actually have hit pan and you, you moved up to the next level, but I'll just see how it goes. And as, as of now, I'll say at the end of March or the first of April, I'll post my update. Thank you for stopping and spending some time with me. And until the next video, I hope you guys have a blessed day. Bye, guys. Bye.